Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Myra and today we're gonna be getting ready. But before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe down below. I post mommy videos, home content, and everything in between. Also like, comment, share, all that fun stuff and let's get started. Disclaimer, I am not a makeup person whatsoever. Probably the last thing on my resume. I just need something on my face so I don't scare the kids. Also, if you hear my fan, I'm sorry. It's like 100 degrees outside and there is a window on this side of me so it's like shadowy. Okay, whatever, let's get started. I've already applied the CeraVe eye cream and the CeraVe AM cream, SPF 30. Wear SPF people. And this is all drugstore. I chase kids all day. By the end of the day, I will have sweat all of this off anyways. Okay, wait, that sounded kind of wrong. I take care of kids. I don't just chase kids randomly. I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild foundation. This is literally like four bucks. And my mirror is on this side, so I'm gonna be looking over here. <laughs> Just literally, just, okay, never mind. Okay, you know what, this is not working out. I'm gonna use a smear instead because I feel like I'm, I got pregnant when I was 19 with my oldest daughter, her name is Alize. She is four years old now, so I was super young. I had no idea what I was getting myself into, but I was excited. When I found out I was pregnant with Alize, it had to be one of the happiest moments of my life. Genuinely, it really was. I'm so bad at this. I should be talking. <laughs> like I said, I usually just sweat everything off by the end of the day, so I don't even add like concealer or anything. But Alizé's due date was October 6th, and Omar and I were in the process of purchasing our first home in Greenfield. Literally, I went into the hospital on a Wednesday night, and we got the keys to our first home on, I believe it was the Thursday or the Friday of that same week. So, new baby, new house. <laughs> we were super excited, you know, for this chapter in our lives. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with the um, Physicians Formula Mineral. This also has SPF in it. Um, and I just kind of put it in the top and swirl on top. And don't wake up, don't wake up, don't wake up. I thought my daughter almost woke up. Okay. I wanna say after we got out of the hospital, we were at the apartment for like a week and then we moved into the new home. Now this is a really big change for me because I was living like two minutes away from my mom and now I was living a whole like, what, 45, 50 minutes? I was, we were moving to Greenville, so that's like a whole ass drive from Marina. Now I just take the powder and I brush it all over my face because it is fucking hot in Bakersfield and I literally, by like 8 a.m. I'm like freaking sweating. And all these brushes are from like Eco Tools, you know. At the hospital, I had noticed that my milk production was really low. You know, the first couple days you have that, col what is it, colostrum, that like thick, yellowy stuff and I don't even know how much I'm you're supposed to be pumping of that but I, for me it was literally like two drops of it um it was so little that I was feeding Alizé through like a syringe also TMI my left nipple was like inverted so Alizé couldn't even latch on like my nipple was like was like in <laughs> so that wasn't fun either I had to wear a nipple shield now I'm gonna go in with the Revlon ultra bronzer this is so old it literally has an m because once upon a time my sister and i had the same one and we didn't want to get them confused and literally just brush this everywhere just so that i don't look too white so now we're in greenfield right and the only people i know are my in-laws and my tia that live in soledad which is like 10 minutes from greenfield shout out to my tia chila she literally was like my best friend for like months and i'll get more into that now I'm just going in with the Tarte Party blush and I'm just gonna smile and apply. And I bring this onto my nose because you know when you get like a sunburn, or not even a sunburn, when you're like out in the sun for a while and you get like a little flushed. I just think that looks like, looks kind of pretty, kind of like natural, glowy, whatever. I am so bad at this. Okay, so back to the story. Needless to say, I was a little lonely out there. I think Omar was with me for like the first six weeks. I want to say it was the first six weeks that I was, that I had just given birth. Okay, now I'm just brushing my eyebrows out. Brushing them up, up, up. And it was fine. I mean, we were just trying to get in the rhythm of having a baby, getting adjusted to the new house. It was when Omar went back to work that things got really sad for me. I wasn't working at the time either. I was a stay-at-home mom. So 
this is when it kind of hit me and alizé was like a super good baby she wasn't like a big crier or anything she almost slept through the night like right away at this point i was supplementing with formula because i was only pumping like two ounces and it was hard for me because i knew omar's expectations were like super high for me our relationship back then was at a very rocky estate so although yes he was my husband and i talked to him about things there were certain things i really couldn't talk to him about or i felt like i couldn't and i tried talking to my mom about those things and you know she was like i've never experienced any of that so i was very lost i felt very lost okay for my brows i don't do anything fancy i literally just go in with this powder and i'm like running out and I literally just film in because I don't got time to spend 20 minutes on my eyebrows. And I did used to use this um like brow pencil, but it was time for that. Like I don't. Honestly, that's it. My brows are not even sisters, they're like cousins, and I came to be okay with that. <laughs> At this point, I noticed that just getting up to start my day was a drag. And I dreaded it, honestly. It was just like, ugh, like, do I really have to get up and do something now? I knew that the baby blues were a thing. You know, the hormones or whatever affect you. So I know that we're at a, like, a very delicate stage. Although I knew it was common, I couldn't find anyone to share what I was going through with. So I found myself literally in sweats all day. I didn't want to do my makeup, I didn't want to do my hair. I literally would just lay there with Alizé and you know, I would feed her, I would play with her. She made me super happy just by being there with me, but I couldn't make myself happy. I tried to find ways to cheer myself up and nothing worked. I was so sad and then I started crying. Like, I would randomly cry out of nowhere. I literally would be making dinner and crying my eyes out and then trying to make the red of my eyes go away before Omar got home so he wouldn't see that I was crying. I wasn't showing anyone my emotions. I wasn't telling anyone what I was feeling. I was just so sad all the time. And I didn't understand why. Like my baby was beautiful, she was healthy. Let's brush these, the lashes out. I was blessed with itty bitty lashes. So sometimes I don't even do this because honestly, it doesn't make much of a difference. Take my eyelash curler and then just damage the fuck out of my lashes my itty bitty lashes okay now that my lashes are curled i go into my super old super crusty super lash mascara tell me you guys have seen this before it is So at this point in time, I am feeling horrible. My hair is falling out because you go bald after you give birth. I am not producing any milk. My husband and I are like no longer intimate. I felt like I was making Alice unhappy because I was so unhappy. I just did not understand what was going on. And you know, there I go again, keeping it to myself because I didn't want to sound ungrateful to, you know, people. So one day I'm cleaning up and I find like a little going home baggie that they give you at the hospital with like a bunch of papers. And I'm looking through the papers just to see if anything is important or not. And I come across this flyer that's like postpartum depression. And I'm going through the symptoms and I'm going down the list and I realize like, this is me and this is me and this is me. And I'm like, I can't be depressed. I just had a baby. I have this new house. I There's no way like, and I see on the flyer, there's like a 1-800 number and it says like, you know, toll free. And I'm like, should I go like, and I brushed it off to the side. I'm like, no, like I'm, I'm not depressed. Like there's no way. I left it in a drawer and I would literally go look at the flyer like twice a day. And I did this for a few days until one morning I'm like pumping. I'm trying to get milk out. Nothing is happening. And there I go again. I am like bawling my eyes out. And then I told myself it wasn't normal. And I'm so mad at myself that it took that long for me to realize that I was really going through something. And just because... I was a new mom and I was scared and I was shy and I was ashamed of what I was feeling that I wasn't reaching out to anybody. 
So I finally built up the courage and I called and I spoke to the nicest lady I had spoken to in months. I want to say at this point, Alize was already like four months old. And this lady set up like call appointments for me to be able to call her and just talk to her and talk to her about how my day was going and talk to her about how I was feeling. I mean, she wanted me to go into her office. I believe she was located in Salinas, but just at that time, it wasn't like something I wanted to do, not something I felt comfortable doing. So I opted out of that and I would just call her. I want to say I spoke to her over the phone for like five weeks. It wasn't every day. It was like sometimes I would do every day. Other times I would do like every other day, every three days. But I spoke to her for like five weeks. And she was the one who encouraged me to reach out to my family members and reach out to my friends. And that is when I reached out to Mitya Chila in Soledad. And I just started going over. And it started with just a visit. But I feel like I annoyed her after a while because I was there so often. We would literally sit there and talk for hours. And just knowing that I wasn't getting that judgment from her and knowing that she understood me was so refreshing because I wasn't getting that from anyone else. I'm gonna go in with the Carly Bebel palette. I'm just gonna take the shade of highlight and I'm just really just gonna put it like super lightly because fish be sweating by like 8 a.m. It's not even funny. Like, please fall, just get here already. Unfortunately, after I started working, I lost touch with my aunt, but she literally saved me from this darkness that I don't even know that she knows this, but she really did. As most of you know, my sister just gave birth to her babies and I make it a priority to check up on her every single day. How are you doing? How are the babies? What is your mental health state in? Because I don't want her to feel anywhere near how I was feeling and I don't want her to feel alone how I was feeling and I don't want her to ever feel like she herself is entering the dark place. So now I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. lip lacquer and I am just gonna add a little bit of this literally what i do every day if i wasn't filming it would take me like five minutes hope you enjoyed today's video please don't forget to subscribe down below like comment share all that fun stuff please stay safe out there and i will see you very soon